this one. Um, so in this one, you can honestly say, well, I know it's being you know, subtracted, right? I see subtraction. However, yes? Exactly. If I say I don't not love math, your English teacher will tell you that you, if you say you don't not love math, then your teacher tells you, you'll say you love math, right? Because you're using a double negative. You're negating a negative, right? So the same thing, if I say x minus, if I'm minusing a negative number, a lot of times you say, well, that's what we call double negative, so I can rewrite this as x plus 74 equals negative 22. So then, so now I say, all right, my variable x is being added by 74, so to undo addition, I need to subtract. And I'll use the subtraction property of equality to subtract on both sides. That positive 74 minus 74 gives you 0. 0 plus x is just going to leave you with x. So x equals a negative 96. Yes? It's a double plus or a double negative? Yeah. Well, it's a double negative, so we just write it as one additional symbol. But a lot of times I just cancel out both of those negatives just saying they're both positive. But yeah, it's not like you can't double positive or get wrong. Okay? Yes? Let me go and see how quickly I can do it. 